It combines, um, you know, like nutritional yeast. You can use Bragg's. Um, I have another company that I use as well. Um, I put a little bit of hemp powder in there. We do some hemp powder. We do some organic super seeds. So it's just a blend of some really high quality seeds that are full of nutrients. So it has chia, flaxseed meal, and whole hemp seeds. Provide some nice nutrients to our mixture. After that, we got a plant protein powder. It's organic. And this contains like a pea protein powder as well as a quinoa. It's a soy and gluten as well as dairy free. And then, you know, we have some uh, moringa powder. So we have just a little bit of this. Uh, it has some trace vitamins, minerals, nutrients, uh, stuff that mycelium thrives on. Um, we have another formula too that we're adding a little bit of xanthan gum, some avocado oil, a little bit of flaxseed oil, and uh, some olive oil. I've done uh, some research and pulled some data that shows that um, when you incorporate plant seed oils, especially like those of avocado or olive oil um, strains, such as even reishi, um, lion's mane, for instance, with flaxseed oil, um, we can get the mycelium to start production of these unique compounds at an earlier stage than they normally would. So, for instance, olive oil or avocado oil in addition to the Ganoderma formula uh, shows that the reishi mushrooms are producing a compound called Ganoderic A acid uh, in quantities of 30% more than usual uh, just due to having these plant seed oils either in the substrate or in the agar formula. So we're doing the agar formula and then we'll do some other experiments where we'll do um, additives in the substrate versus no additives. We'll eventually look at getting all those compounds lab tested for potency and see what the real difference is. So we're starting out with uh, 2,000 milliliters of uh, water. So some water right here. 